Welcome to the Capital Gains Tax Solutions Podcast, where we believe most high net worth individuals and those who help them struggle with clarifying their capital gains tax deferral options. Not having a clear plan is the enemy, and using a proven tax deferral strategy such as the Deferred Sales Trust is the best way for you to grow your wealth. Hey, I'm your host, Brett Swartz, and each episode I am joined by some of the best real estate minds, financial minds, and wealth advisors in the world where they share their ideas, deal stories, and inspiration so together we can make complex tax referral strategies simple and passive income plans achievable. Hey, I'm excited about our next guest. He's a real estate investor, entrepreneur, and mentor. Um, he is the managing partner of Harborside Partners, a real estate syndication firm, and has been actively investing in multifamily since 2006. He also hosts the Global Investors Podcast, where he inter interviews professionals about investing in the U.S. real estate. Um, he's been a full-time real estate investor. He currently in, in, invests in over 250 multifamily units across three states. Um, and he grew up managing multifamily commercial properties with his father. So he has lots of wisdom to share with us. Um, and so please welcome to the show with me, Ch Charles Carlio. Hey, Charles, how you doing? Great, Brett. Thanks for having me on. Excellent. Would you give our listeners just a little bit more about your background and your current focus? Yeah, so I have been a multifamily investor since 2006, and uh, we, we focus on value-add multifamily, and uh, we do syndication, which is uh, the majority of our, uh, our acquisitions at this point in time. And we also work with some smaller properties, but that's, it's few and far between when we find a good deal for something that we'll close on ourselves. The, when we're looking for properties and uh, when we're working with investors, uh, we work with a lot of international investors, hence the Global Investors Podcast that I host. Um, we work with third-party managers. We're looking for properties where we can add value to them. Uh, we're looking in gentrification uh, or gentrifying areas uh, throughout mainly the Southeast United States. And uh, our main focus is where I'm located is in Florida. And we have a few markets there, but we've also started to expand out of Florida. So uh, yeah, that's kind of where we are now and a little bit on myself. Excellent. That's fantastic. And I, I, so as multifamily syndicator, sometimes, um, or even as an investor, sometimes it can be frustrating with capital gains tax deferral. And part of our show is, is finding solutions and creative ways that professionals like yourself are, are doing that. But I'm curious, what's the biggest frustration you've had when it comes to capital gains tax referral options? Uh, there's two parts. One of them, when we're doing syndications and we have someone that comes to us and says, I want to, uh, I'm selling this asset and I want to put it into one of your syndications or work with you. It's a very complex situation. It's called a tenant in common. I'm not gonna, you can, you can Google that and go down that rabbit hole, but it really is, it adds a whole nother level of complexity to the whole deal. And uh, it makes it much more difficult to complete. And then with our smaller deals, when we're talking to individual uh, landlords, I'd say, uh, we are really, we're finding a problem with, in an up market, it's going to be much harder to identify that property, especially with how fast multifamily is uh, going off the market right now, how fast it sells. It's very difficult to identify properties and then actually close on those properties. So for someone that's selling, for someone that's purchasing that will work with a seller, if you can go direct to the, the seller, it's, gonna, it's actually a plus for them. But someone that's selling the property, it's much more difficult to actually get a you know top of the market a top price full retail price let's say um for their property because they have to find a buyer that will actually work with them and hey we're closing now and then if they have a portfolio and they're doing one property at a time it can be a very painstaking process yeah absolutely that's part of why we started our company capital gains tax solutions because we we're doing multifamily brokerage at marcus and Millichap, and i looked around and we saw so many people overpaying being forced to do uh uh, uh, forced to buy properties. They call it a, a shotgun wedding, right? With 45 <laughs> days, you're like, Hey, you want to get married? Okay. We're married. You know what I mean? And it's going real fast. And, and, uh, sometimes you can make poor decisions, especially if you're selling high and buying higher 180 days later. And to your right. first point, absolutely. With the syndications, right? Um, it's often most syndicators that we meet before they meet us, they just say no to all this 1031 yeah. money because it's too complicated. It's too small of deals. And let's get this real unicorn that has two or 3 million bucks about yeah. the place. Then they'll make, they'll go through the brain surgery of carving that out. Uh, we actually just closed uh, two deals, one with um, Ashcraft Capital and Joe mm -hmm. Fairless, and then one with uh, Brian Burke with his multifamily fund. And we used the deferred sales trust instead of uh, the 1031 tick, which is a s way simplified uh, form of doing this because it's not a 1031. And uh, that was very successful. We can talk more about that offline. But so for those who are listening, 
uh, we do have a solution for that. And it's, um, it's called the Deferred Sales Trust. It's pretty amazing. Um, but that being said, if folks want to, especially in Florida, by the way, I was just in Clearwater and then I was just mm -hmm. in um, Tampa for the, floor, for, the, for the Super Bowl before all of everything hit the fan. Um, <laughs> and it was, I feel really good that you guys were able to have that. I couldn't imagine not having the Super Bowl. It was such an amazing experience. Um, but that being said, what part of Florida are you in? And if folks want to get connected with you, what's the best way for them to find you? Yeah, so um, I'm located currently in St. Petersburg, Florida. And uh, if you want to get in touch with me, you can go to my website, charlescrillo.com. And uh, if you're interested in actively or passively investing in real estate, let's set up a 30-minute call. And uh, we can kind of go over whatever uh, questions you have and how you can get started. Beautiful. I love that. Hey, so reach out to Charles. And then next time I'm in Florida, Charles, I'm going to come find <laughs> you, right? That St. Petersburg, that's near... Um, right across the bay from tampa uh, okay got it okay there it is all right so still get my geography here out here in california well thanks so much for everyone for listening and thanks charles for being on the show by the way we're going to dive into the full show with charles so look for that to be released soon on itunes and all of the other major uh places that you can download um, content thank you so much